what is going on everybody in today's video we're going to show you how we keep that store warm and where do we get that heat from how we keep the customers happy and not looking like this just frozen walking up to the manager going what is going on with your store temp so next time you go into a supermarket you'll be smiling like this that's because of us and we'll show you how we do it the store you're looking at right now it's the store we visited today so was, this is what it's doing right now. It's at 70 degrees, three stages of heat. The first two are gonna be the heat reclaim stages. One's off rack four and the other one's rack three. And the reason they're the first two stages of heat is because it's a free source of heat coming off the racks. Number three is the auxiliary. So we're using the gas, so that's why it's number three. The very last one. Here we are at the store, showing you the rack, one of the stages of heat. This is stage number one. So you can see on the discharge header going to the separator. From the separator going up to the three-way valve, the heat reclaim valve. Let me get the zoom. Let me focus. There you go. Heat reclaim valve. There you go. You can see which direction it's going for each line. So let me show you a different angle of the piping for the valve. This pipe right here, when calling for heat, when the cylinder is energized, it goes to the heat reclaim. This one, when it's normal state, when it's de-energized, goes straight to the condenser. This one's coming from the heat reclaim coil on the return. So as you can see right now, it's energized, it's calling for heat. So it's gonna be the very top one. This one right here, let's follow it. There's a little arrow so it won't get lost. Going. Going into the secret room right here. There you go to the air handler room. Heat reclaim stage number one in. Coming out. So here I'm just showing you the heat reclaim coil. Top is stage one, the bottom is stage number two. You can see the size of it. So right now our head pressure is 185 pounds at 4078 gas. So it's 92 degrees converted. So that's how much heat we're getting from it. So let's go back. If you got lost, we're about to put a little arrow for you. There you go. Now we're coming up to one of the most important parts of this. The check valve. So this allows the refrigerant to travel one direction. So when it's in normal state, it can't come back. So we're still going right now. So I'll put an arrow for you. Refrigerant is still flowing. So here, we're gonna go straight to the evap tower, the condenser. Discharge on top, drop leg in the bottom, go into the receiver, that big boy right there. Right to the side of it. Now when it's de-energized, when it's normal state, it's not calling for heat. All that really does is go straight to the condenser. If you follow it, you'll see where exactly what I'm talking about. There you go. That's it. Here's number three stage. Our beautiful Resner unit. Look at it go. So yeah, like I said, it's number three, last stage. It's the last stage because we have to use the, the gas for it. Right here, I move the cover so you can see inside of it. Get the flames go. Exactly like the picture from the beginning. Identical. So just backed it up so you can see. Stage one on top, stage two in the bottom. Show you inside of it. This horror film of dust. Look at that filters, the return vent. Close it up. Here's our filter switch. There's a switch so when they have to replace the filters, they just hit it and it shuts everything down. Blower wheel, just like the picture. Identical. Pulley, blower, you get the motor. They're usually about 20 horsepower, these motors. They're fun to change. And here's a return vent. 
They're usually in the back of the stores. You'll see a couple of them or you'll see one huge one right there. And they have multiple supplies throughout the store. Every other couple aisles. Here's a frozen food one. What the hell is even that? Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're curious how we do heating in the supermarket stores, there you go. The piping, the flow of it. I hope you enjoyed it, man. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, thank you so much for watching.